For this SAT math question, we need to first know that sine of a is equal to cosine of 90 minus a, since sine and cosine are complementary to each other. Then we're given that sine of a equals to cosine of b. So we go ahead and let 90 minus a equal to b. So 90 minus a equals to b. Next, since a equals to 4k minus 12, we're going to plug that in here. And b is equal to 6k minus 13, so we're going to go ahead and plug that in here. So we get 90 minus 4k minus 22 equals to 6k minus 13. If you simplify this, you'll get 10k equals to 125, or k is equal to 12.5.